Sports, and we'll get to see a pair of teams who fought multiple times in the Super Bowl. It's the Los Angeles Rams and the New England Patriots. All that and more coming up next. We welcome you to Patriot Place and a look inside Gillette Stadium here in Foxborough, Massachusetts. So good to have you with us. Mike Tirico, Greg Olson, excited for this one. Partner, what are we looking at here as this game gets rolling? You know, I think this game is quite interesting in the fact, Mike, that I feel like before every week's matchup, we sit up here and we talk about quarterbacks in the passing game. And obviously, that is the direction the NFL has been headed for the last couple years. But in this matchup here today specifically, I think both these offenses want to flip that on its head. They want to control the clock, time management, ball control. Don't be afraid to punt the ball away and play defense. It's a little bit of an old school philosophy, but you have to do whatever it takes to win each matchup. And I think both of those formulas of these two teams are very similar. We are about set for some football, and it's Joey Sly to kick things off. And off we go from Foxborough. will be brought down past the 25 decent field position to start this drive the Rams led out by a Super Bowl champion Matthew Stafford second among all active passers in the NFL only Aaron Rodgers has thrown for more yards hard to believe Greg it's already season 16 for the man out of the University of Georgia I had a coach tell me earlier in my career Mike specifically about the quarterback position if you don't have fast feet you better have a fast mind. And here we have a guy that has played a lot of games under center. He has seen a lot of football. And while he might not be as mobile, he might not have the arm strength to make all the throws he had earlier in his career, that experience behind center, that experience being in these moments before, man, having that quick mind, there's not a whole lot of defense is going to throw at him that he hasn't seen. Second down and three. From the shotgun, it's Stafford. He'll find his tight end. It's Kobe Parkinson. And he's going to be brought down up past the 45. This may look like a simple connection, Mike, just pitch and catch. But I can promise you the amount of time these two guys have spent together on the practice field, in the meeting rooms, just getting on the same page, seeing the game through the same set of eyes, it makes what's pretty difficult seem a lot easier. The NFL's third leading rusher a season ago, it's Kyron Williams. And he'll get this one across midfield. Brought down after a pickup of a half dozen. They'll come up now for second down and four. It's another run here for Williams. And they'll take this down inside the 35. This is how you drop your opening possession when you're on the road. The longer the drive goes, the quieter the crowd gets. Continue to mix in that run game. Let's see if they can finish off by putting this ball in the end zone. First and 10. Off play action. It's Stafford. And he got rid of that one quickly before the receiver even knew what was going on. That's incomplete. Cooper Cup was the intended receiver. And it'll bring up second down. Up until that incompletion, they've done a really nice job on this drive, Mike, picking up fresh sets of downs. And typically, throwing the ball on first down is a great way to do it. It's actually the easiest down in football to operate in. But now they find themselves in second and ten. Do you keep it in the air and try to get the first down here? Or is the idea to just make third down manageable and take your chances picking up a key third down? Seventh play of this opening drive, and here's third down. Working out of the gun, Stafford. He'll look middle, and he's got his man complete. And he's going to have the first down. So they convert on third down with a pickup of nine. 
Well, we'll give a little credit here defensively. Even though they allow the first down, we've seen defenses really struggle bringing this big tight end to the ground, and they didn't allow him to pick up a bunch of yards after contact, but he was able to get just enough to pick up the first down. On first down, it's Stafford. Up brings it in left side. After the catch, he gets that forward for a gain of nine. This is a great example here of just not getting too complicated as an offensive coordinator. Who's one of your best players on the field, and how do you get the ball in his hands? A good spot here, second and a yard. On the carry, it's Williams. And he'll get a couple of yards, and that's good enough for the first down. This offense, they're not interested in taking the deep shot here. Second and short, the way they're running the ball, pound the rock, reset the downs, and just keep the drive alive. Great chance to make an early statement here on the road. It is first and goal. A shotgun snap to Stafford. And he's in. Cooper, up. Touchdown, Rams. A terrific way to start this one. Not only a touchdown, but a nice long march down the field. Makes it a long walk back to the bench for the defense. Mike, that's about as good as you can imagine starting a game offensively. To be able to sustain that many plays and be able to cap it off with a touchdown. That is a dream start for this offense. Joshua Cardi comes out now for the extra point. He's got it. And the Rams will take a 7-0 lead. Both teams ready to go once more as the kick's away. Jones now on the return. And he'll be brought down right around the 25-yard line. The Patriots have a rookie quarterback. It is Drake May. Long past the Tom Brady era, it is May who is now the guy in Foxborough. Out of North Carolina, Greg, the third pick in this past year's draft. There's no question, Mike, this guy in terms of talent is at the top of the list. I mean, that prototypical size with that live arm, he can attack the defense in so many different ways. However, I think it's really his ability to use his mind is what takes him to another level. For a young player to understand the importance of manipulating the defense with his eyes, and he's able to identify exactly where that coverage is vulnerable. He's far from a finished product, right? He's a young player learning this league. I'll tell you what, I am fired up to see his development firsthand today over these next couple hours. So you're on the sideline and you're watching the other team go right down the field and score on their first drive. As a play caller, you have to be careful that it doesn't throw you out of your initial plan coming into the game. They wanted to establish some ground game here early, and that's exactly what they did. Even though it doesn't result in a sack, when you dial up the right pressure at the right time, Mike, sometimes that's all it takes to lead to that incompletion. The timing is just a little off between the quarterback and his intended target, and the ball falls incomplete. They'll try again here. Second and ten. On the handoff, it's Stevenson. They converge on him quickly. He'll only get a couple. Christian Rose, boom. They're on the tackle. They need eight as they come up for third down. Operating from the shotgun, it's May. Balled in by the tight end, Henry. And a good short tackle right there. It stops him a good distance short of the marker. It sets up fourth down. 
I think there's one of those plays that when the ball carrier watches this back in the film room tomorrow, he's going to be a little frustrated with himself. If he could just have made that one guy miss, he picks up the first down. Instead, he gets brought down short of the sticks, and now they got a fourth down decision to make. And no return forthcoming. It's a touchback, and will come out to the 20-yard line. The Rams offense ready to get going with their second possession. They lead 7-0 thanks to the touchdown on the opening drive. So try to double up here as they begin this drive first and 10. Drive begins with a run by Williams. And this will gain a couple of yards up to the 22 yard line. Second down and eight. They'll go again with Williams. And this is going to be a Rams first down. He gets it up past the 30 to the 32. And a nice pick up there by the back with an explosive run play. And it's important to point out, Mike, this offensive play caller, he's still working off that opening script. It doesn't necessarily have to just be the first possession. Using formations, using run game and pass. Unmask the defense and understand where to take the play calling as the game unfolds. Well, they weren't going to get him the second time with the same back. Defense all over that one. They stop him for no gain. Coming off that edge, Mike, you have to quickly determine, is this a pass or is it a run? And once he realized it was a run, he's able to shed his blocker, make the play, no gain. To throw on second down, Stafford. A throw over the middle, and they can't connect. It's incomplete. He just rushed that decision just a little bit downfield. I mean, it's one thing to trust your guy to make a play in tight coverage. We see quarterbacks do that all the time. But I think if he was a little bit more patient in his progression, there was an easier throw out there that wouldn't make him have to throw such a tight window ball and put his receiver in a tight spot. They'll be forced to just throw that one away. It's incomplete. You can't fault the quarterback on this one, Mike. He really didn't even have much of an opportunity. By the time he hit the top of his drop and got his eyes downfield, the defense was all over him, and he really had no choice but to just get that ball out of his hand and live to play another snap. And good coverage by the punt team. They stop him before he can get any return cranked up. The Patriots offense about ready to get going on their second possession. They trail here by a touchdown as this drive will start with a first down. Now the man side from Washington, it's Antonio Gibson. And he surges forward for a gain of about five. They'll break the huddle. It's second and five. From out of the gun, here's May. That's to the rookie from UCF, Javon Baker. And they'll whistle him down, but not before he picks up a first down after a gain of seven. Nice first down pickup here by Baker. And you hear this all the time, Mike, guys that play faster than maybe they time. And what that means is when the game is live, the way they're in and out of their breaks, they're burst off the line, they might not time really well in the 40-yard dash. But when you put the tape on, they are running away from guys. And I think that's really the case with Baker. Almost 22 yards per catch last year. That led FBS football. And I'll tell you, this is a guy who can get downfield, high point the ball, and there's a lot of explosive plays in his future. Here's second and three to go.
A carry now for Gibson. And nothing on that one. Back to the line of scrimmage. And that is it. So, they'll talk over what to do on this third down play as we have hit the end of the first quarter. The Rams out to the early lead. And we're back to Foxborough in a moment. Third down, three to go. Working out of the gun, it's May. Open man is Douglas. It's complete. Second time they've connected on this drive. And 19 yards out of this one. Every once in a while, it just comes down to you need somebody in the huddle to just make a play. And there wasn't a whole lot fancy here. The quarterback just dumps the ball down, a quick underneath completion. And then really, it's the yards after catch that did the rest. And that's what it takes. You're not always going to have the perfect play. You're not always going to dial up the perfect play against the perfect look. Sometimes players need to make plays, and that was a good one there. The throw on the run is complete. And this is where the versatility of the tight end position really starts coming into play. Not only do they have to line up with their hand on the ground in line, but they can occasionally split out in the slot and man, they're too fast for linebackers, and a lot of times, they're too big for defensive backs. May to throw on second down. That's complete to Ramondre Stevenson out of the backfield. And he'll be taken down. I love the way the ball's been moving around to different guys this drive, Mike. I mean, it really keeps the defense guessing and off balance, and now, this defense is going to have to figure out how to keep this offense out of the end zone because it's first and goal. Ball resting on the nine. First down and goal. Here's a run. Marked down at the six. Now here's second and goal. It's the tight end, Henry, in motion. And the back judge throws the flag. He looks at the ball, looks at the clock. Clock says zero. That's a delay of game. From a little further back, here's second and goal. To throw is May. That one caught by Polk. And he's in. Jalen Polk. Touchdown, New England. But you think back to their first possession of this game, Mike, it resulted in a punt. Not exactly the fast start the coaches told us was so important as this game unfolds. They get the ball back for possession two. Now they try to find some rhythm, find their identity of the game plan, and... They come away with six, so that's how you bounce back in this league. It's not always going to be perfect. Really nice job settling into this game here with their second possession. Slides extra point, up and good. And the Patriots will level things out at seven apiece. time seven apiece and the kicks away Johnson now to return oh he's got room past the 30 and a solid run back there he'll get this out past the 30 yard line Kyron Williams and the Rams offense 
ready to get back to work. We'll try to break out of this deadlock. We are all even at seven as they start this drive first and ten. They'll start this on the ground. It's Williams. He'll take this ahead. It's a pickup of three. Jabril Pepper is up from his safety spot to bring him down. They face second down and seven. From the gun, here's Stafford. Working free downfield, it is Williams. 23 yards on that pass play. First down, L.A. So in regards to being used in the passing game, there's really two types of backs in this league. There's the check down back. He's able to just take the short gains and try to pick up more yards after catch. And then there's the back that can be used as a weapon. He can run choice routes. He can run real wide receiver type routes. And man, when you got a guy like that in your passing game, it is a handful for defenses. And they'll move this ball way down into the red zone inside the 20 yard line. Talk about a thing of beauty. Mike, did you see how many tight ends were on the field on that last play? They call it 13 personnel because there's one running back, three tight ends, one wide receiver. So everybody on defense is thinking run. They catch them off guard a little with the pass, and they take advantage of it with a big game downfield. The hole closes quickly. He'll pick up about three. Second and seven. Out of the gun, Stafford. This one caught by Parkinson. And he will get into the end zone. Touchdown, Los Angeles. This is a great decision by the quarterback. You can see, Mike, he's trying to push this ball downfield and pick up a big completion in the air, but... With the amount of depth the defense was getting, his best option was the check down, the underneath short throw, and just say, hey, pick up this rest of this game with your legs after the catch. And fortunately for this quarterback, this short throw is going to go down in the box score as a touchdown. Cardi now to add the extra point. He's got it. And the Rams will move out to a 14-7 lead. kickoff team is out on the field and we're back to it as the kicks away to return it's Antonio Gibson and a decent return there he'll get this up just shy of the 30 the number three overall selection Drake May headed out for the next Pats possession they trail now 14 to 7 as they'll come up for first and 10 Start on the ground with Stevenson. And he'll be taken down up at the 40-yard line. Well, a really nice start here to the drive. Early down success. Every offensive coordinator is trying to find ways. How do we pick up first downs without having to get to third down? We see it here. Big explosive run. Now the rest of the drive unfolds. May now on first and 10. Has completed to Douglas. That's a nice pickup on a first down throw. It's a gain of eight. 
The receiver thought he had a nice soft spot in that zone coverage, and he settles down to give a nice target to the quarterback. But the defense had eyes on him the entire time. Secure rally tackle prevents that from turning into a big play. On second down, here's a run with Stevenson. And he's going to have a first down. Good run down inside the 45-yard line. This is a situation that play callers love to be in, Mike. They have all their options on the table. Second and short. Play action pass. You can run. In this case, they choose to keep it on the ground. Play it safe. Pick up the first down. Now some movement up front. Flags down. Mistake filled. First half continues. To throw now, May. He's got his big tight end, Henry. When you put plays like this on tape, it sends a message to every defender across the league. When you play this offense and this guy has the ball, you better bring it when you come to contact him, because if not, you're going to be on the wrong end of it. Second and 11. Here's May. A very quick throw there, but not on the same page with his target. That's incomplete. Javon Baker was the intended receiver. And now it's going to be third down. It's rare to see an offense that finds themselves trailing and say, well, their quarterback's been actually one of their biggest bright spots. Usually that doesn't go hand in hand. So it's a little surprising to see him miss a throw like that on a day where he's completed passes at a highly efficient rate. And that is incomplete. They got there in a hurry, didn't they, Mike? I mean, luckily for him, he saw that free rusher coming and at the very least was able to get that ball out to prevent the sack. Here's Bryce Beringer now. He's on for the second time. He'll try to get something inside the tent. And this is going to work out for him. Out of bounds, and they'll mark it inside the 10. Here come the Rams as their offense trots back onto the field. We'll see how they want to attack things here. Williams gets it on the draw. What more could you ask for on first down? Nice run of eight, setting up second and short. They go play action with Stafford. He'll locate Cup. And they'll whistle him down, but not before he picks up a first down after a gain of seven. Recognizing the blitz is just the first step in the process for a quarterback understanding who you can account for with the protection and then who you can't account for. That's where your hot receiver comes in. He points to his receiver who the defender they're hot off of that guy comes, gets the ball out of his hand, and results in a completion. And he'll get forward for a couple. Jawan Bentley there on the tackle. Two minutes remain here in this first half. We're back to Foxborough after this. They'll come up on a second down and eight. the shotgun it's Stafford he gets it into the hands of Atwell and they'll mark him down just shy of the 40 not a whole lot complicated about this play Mike that was understanding where the holes of the defense were remember in this zone coverage you got to find green grass get past the first down marker be friendly to the quarterback and then the ball has to be out on time before those zone defenders can react to the receiver it's exactly how it played out here. You can drop all the fancy plays you want, but when the quarterback and the receiver see it through the same set of eyes, it's virtually impossible to stop. That is a big gainer for the Rams. And even 30 yards. 
else. Those are the explosive pass plays that this team is going to continue to mine all day. And you can see pre-snap, the quarterback loved his matchup. He allowed his receiver to work downfield. Perfect throw, and now sets them up to try to see if they can finish this drive off with some points. So they come to the line for first down and 10. Off play action, it's Stafford. Wide open is the tight end. He's got this one. And he'll be out of bounds at the five. It'll be first and goal after a pickup of 27. Man, they're just running this two-minute drill to complete perfection. It's such a point of emphasis of every offense, Mike. These end-of-half scenarios to come away stealing points make a big impact on the outcome of the game. And, and he'll take it on in. Puka Nakua. Touchdown, L.A. And the show continues. What a first half he's had, Greg. A third touchdown pass with that one. Mike, what stood out to me the most so far is just the amount of space these guys have had to operate in. I think if I'm this defensive coordinator, me and my staff at halftime are revisiting this game plan. They obviously felt good about it coming in, but I don't think there's anything to feel good about thus far. On comes Joshua Cardi for the extra point. His kick is good, and the Rams will take a 21-7 lead. Both teams ready to go once more as the kick's away. On the return, here comes Gibson. He's across the 20, taken down just shy of the 25. So now the New England offense getting ready for their next possession. They trail by two touchdowns, so the time is now. Got to get that rally going. It starts with first and ten. May going to look to throw. Uh, trying to set up the screen, but he just had a spike that one. This will be incomplete. For the most part, he's been very accurate with the ball. I mean, he's completing over 60% of his passes, but because they haven't been able to get any big explosive plays, continue to push the ball downfield, hasn't really translated on the scoreboard just yet. Throwing on second down, May. Little short pass here, caught by his tight end. Third down and nine. Now, May. He'll try to set up the screen to Stevenson. Now the Patriots are going to use their first timeout, and they'll stop it just over a minute remaining in this first half. Line of scrimmage is the 37-yard line for first and 10. Here's May again. Middle of the field, that's taken in by Baker. And he'll be brought down just shy of midfield. They'll come up here first and ten. To throw again is May. 
Here's a check down. Gibson out of the backfield. After the catch, he gets that forward for a gain of nine. Second and a yard. May to throw again. And he got rid of that one quickly before the receiver even knew what was going on. That's incomplete. So as halftime looms, Mike, they have to find a way to capitalize on this drive right here and make sure they end the half with some sort of points. Now, that incompletion, not ideal, but... At the very least, it stops the clock. Catch your breath, get back in the huddle, and this next play, it's got to be a gotta-have-it best play call. And he will finally be taken down inside the 10-yard line. If you want to score points at a high level in the NFL, you have to generate explosive plays. And after that big chunk pass play, they find themselves now down there in the red zone, and this is where you have to finish drives. So the big play changes the complexion of things. It's first and goal now from just inside the 10-yard line. And that one knocked away. It's incomplete. You know, it's a fine line between trusting your arm and having a little bit too much faith in your arm, right? I think this is one of those situations here, Mike, where there was nowhere to go with the ball. He tries to fit that one in there anyway, and he's lucky that it just falls incomplete. May to the air once more. Hauled in by the tight end, Henry. A nice drive. This is the ninth play coming up. Can they cash it in on third and goal? Throwing is May. He'll be forced to just throw that one away. It's incomplete. Here's the quarterback doing everything in his power to extend this play, and none of his guys could get open. You got to see someone separate. Work with your quarterback. Go into scramble second reaction mode, and it's also give some credit to the back end doing a nice job plastering with their assignment, and he had no choice but to throw it away. Lies kick is good. And the Patriots cut the deficit a bit. The new score is now 21 to 10. And that's a really nice boost here before the break. I mean, you work the clock well, you're able to steal some points. The biggest thing is you're able to build a little momentum now going into the locker room at halftime. The clock showing five seconds remaining in this half as the kick's away. This one will be taken in the end zone. No run back forthcoming. And the ball coming out to the 30-yard line. The break the huddle coming up now for first and ten. And they're just going to run it here up the middle. And he's going to be taken down as time runs out on this first half of play. So we're at halftime, and it's the visitors, the Rams, taking the lead to the locker room. As we'll head down the coast now to Orlando. That's where we find Jonathan Coachman ready with our EA Sports. Halftime report. Coach. Okay, Mike, thank you. More from you and Greg in a moment, but for now... Welcome one and all to our EA Sports Halftime Reports. Coach, thank you. Back here on EA Sports as we count down to the kickoff of the second half. Third quarter set to commence. And we're back underway here on EA Sports. 
Jones now on the return. And he'll be brought down just beyond the 25-yard line. The Patriots offense going to have a first crack at it as we begin this third quarter. The deficit is double digits, so work to do as they begin this drive with first and 10. Working out of the gun, it's May. And that keeps him ahead of schedule. That's a first down completion of seven yards. The drag route is such a good way to get the ball early into the hands of your tight end and take some pressure off the quarterback and give him an easy completion. The size and the athleticism allows them to try to pick up more yards, but do it after the catch. Now Gibson. And he'll be close to a first down. A gain of a couple as they mark him just short. They'll look to pick this up third and a yard. They'll try to run for this. It's Stevenson. And he's going to have it up for the first down. They'll mark him up at the 39-yard line. Really just the same approach that an offense would take on a quarterback sneak, Mike. You don't necessarily have to spring them for a huge gain. Can you buy just enough space up front to pick up one yard? That's exactly what they did. Pick up the first down. Here's May to throw it on first down. He'll get this to Baker. That's a nice pickup on a first down throw. It's a gain of eight. The drag route is certainly not the most complicated route on the route tree, but a really nice job there using the scheme to create separation. He did a really nice job there working across the middle of the field as he made himself open. They'll work the middle this time with Stevenson. Angling to the sideline inside the 35. A terrific run there all the way down to the 30-yard line. There's a combination of footwork and vision, his ability to kind of weave through traffic and understand where the holes were. It's a really nice job working through some bodies and picking up a big game. Set to go now on first and 10. Operating from the shotgun, it's May. That one taken in by Douglas. He's going to be marked down at the 12-yard line. Whatever they've talked about in the locker room at the halftime break seems to have worked. They've come out with a new established energy. You could see it when they took the field. Now this offense seems to be building on it because with that chunk play, just a little bit of rhythm that they can build off of. they got a long way to go to get back into this game, but so far off to a good start. He's got it at the three. Defense does a nice job here initially using zone coverage to take away the middle of the field. That's the most valuable real estate in football. Quarterback gets off his first read, sees some openings to the sideline, and him and his receiver are able to connect. An enviable spot to operate from. Here's second and in inches. It's the tight end Henry in motion. They'll look to run with Stevenson. This defense back up, but stepping up. No gain on the play. It stays at the three. That's a heck of a stop there defensively, Mike. Second in inches, you're thinking the first down is pretty much a formality. But not for this defense. They pack it in tight. They sell out on the run. And they're going to force this team to snap it again on third down. On third and a yard, here's May. It is brought in in the end zone. DeMario Douglas. Touchdown, Patriots. Greg, sometimes we say it too often. That was an important drive. That one really felt important for them to edge a little bit closer. Yeah, now the question is, Mike, yeah, the offense does their job, but can the defense get a stop? They've got to continue to get the ball back to their offense. Let them build on that previous drive because they've still got some work to do.
The decision is made. The offense will stay out there and go for two. Throwing now is May. That's pulled in. And they're able to tack on the two-point conversion. Mike, I think all of us can remember exactly where we were during a certain Super Bowl where throwing the ball this close to the goal line ended up being a disaster. But unlike that time, they ran this pass play to perfection, and the result, two points. The kickoff team is out on the field and we're back to it as the kicks away Johnson now to return mm. and they'll bring him down just shy of the 30 yard line Matthew Stafford and the Rams offense getting set to go again and we show you some of the highlights and there have been plenty to choose from three touchdown passes and some other big time throws as well certainly dialed in and on top of his game right throughout this one. First and ten. Here's the give up the middle with Williams. A hit, and he has lost the football. And it's recovered by one of his teammates. They'll gain 17 on that one. A very quick first down. So even though they avoid the turnover, this is still a play that they're going to coach hard off of. They're going to bring guys into the meeting room next week and say, hey, guys, we're not always going to be so fortunate. The ball is not always going to bounce our way. Anybody who handles the ball from the center to the quarterback to any of the ball carriers, the most important aspect of team offense is protecting the ball at all costs. That is two big pickups to start the drive. 32 on the latest. Mike, it just seems like certain games each week just align for matchups like we're seeing today. Just two quarterbacks trading blow for blow, putting on a show for their respective teams. Let's see if he can finish this drive off with another touchdown following that big play. Now this is going to be a design run. They let him keep it. And some good footwork there. He'll take this forward for a gain of eight. And these are body blows on any defense. This quarterback has the ability to make guys miss and do a lot of damage in the run game. And that's a nice pick up there. He'll come to the line now on second and two. From the gun, here's Stafford. That's to the end zone, but it's incomplete. That was a perfectly timed hit, and I think it actually saved six points, Mike. He got there just as the ball did, and I think it was the contact that separated him from the ball. Now a third and two. They'll try to run for it with Williams. And the Rams are going to have first and goal coming up. They're able to convert on third and two. Nothing real fancy about this call here, Mike, right? And this third and short, just get the ball to your running back, make sure he has enough space to pick up the first down, and they're able to convert. From six yards out, it's first and goal. Out of the gun, Stafford. That is caught. These are the worst. I, I had a couple years, Mike, where I swear I got tackled inside the one-yard line ten times. And then you look back and you're like, man, how many touchdowns did I leave on the board because I couldn't get one more yard. Now, for him individually, not ideal, but... Right now, they're on the doorstep of the end zone, and 
They got to find a way to put that ball across the goal line. They'll try to run it with Williams. No signal, and we will not get one. He stopped short, and now it's third and goal. Running back looked a little unsure of himself on that carry there, Mike. You have to think back to that fumble earlier in the game. How much is that still weighing on his mind? He didn't really seem to attack that hole like we've seen in the past. He gets stopped for no game. That is incomplete, but there is a flag down. Big call here. It was third down. run this one in and this time he's in Kyron Williams touchdown Rams so on third and goal they run it in sometimes Greg that's four down territory they didn't need to do it on fourth down taking care of it on the third down for the touchdown yeah and when you find yourself down here this close Mike you have to finish these drives off I'm with you I think he was going to give his back two shots there to punch it in but he only needed one. Cardi now to add the extra point. It's up and through. And the Rams will extend this third quarter lead. Both teams ready to go once more as the kick's away. On the return, here comes Gibson. And he is stopped at the 25, and the drive will begin there. The Patriots offense and Drake May making their way back out. The deficit is at 10, so an important drive forthcoming. Getting started with first and 10. They'll start this one with a three tight end look. On first down, they'll start out with Stevenson. And a short pickup past the 25. Here's second and nine. On play action, here's May. There's that man again, another catch. 13 yards on the catch there. First down, New England. We spent so much time talking about these receivers. How fast do they run, Mike? How high do they jump? But so often, the guys that have the most success in the NFL, it's the mental part of the game. It allows them to create separation, find soft spots in the defense, attack defenders. It's exactly what he's able to do here, and really nice connection. And they'll get about half of what they needed. It's a pickup of five and sets up second and five. So the hope is when you call these underneath drag routes, you're trying to have your tight end come out the backside of the defense in space. So when you put the ball on them early, it leads to big yards after the catch. In this case, they don't get the real big play they were hoping for, but they'll definitely take it. And the defense, good job sticking to their rules. They didn't take their eyes off the running back, who gains nothing. I know it's easy from up in the booth, Mike, but I think that's one of those zone reads where the quarterback needs to pull it and keep it himself. The defense was clearly keyed on the running back. Not much room in there. No gain. Third and short. And here is May. And he'll be stopped short of a first down, and that will necessitate a call to the punt team. It's fourth down. 
Anytime you call a running back screen, the key is the relationship between the offensive line and the running back. They have to be in sync perfectly to set up the big play. That wasn't the case here on third down. He gets tackled short of the sticks. So, three quarters now in the books. NFL on EA Sports. From the 25, they'll go to work, first and 10. They'll run it with Williams. And that one is closed down in the backfield. What a defensive play. Knifing in, dropping him for the loss. At this stage in the fourth quarter, great job by the defense, understanding exactly what the offense is trying to do. They're trying to bleed the clock, shorten the game. They completely sold out to stop the run. Able to take him down for a loss. Now a second down throw for Stafford. And he got rid of that one quickly before the receiver even knew what was going on. That's incomplete. And this game almost just flipped completely on his head. You find yourself with a lead just trying to milk the clock away in the fourth quarter. And that's a gift. I mean, that defender just flat out drops the ball. And if he's able to secure that takeaway... This game looks very different for this offense. That'll be caught by the running back, Williams. And he is out of bounds on the other side of midfield. That's well done as they get the conversion on third and 13. It's not a coincidence, Mike, that the best offenses in the NFL are all excellent at yards after the catch. It's a combination of a few things. A highly accurate quarterback, and the ability of the scheme to get open players in open space. Once you do that, the rest is up to them. They send the tight end in motion. They'll be forced to just throw that one away. It's incomplete. A rare miss for a quarterback that we've seen really come out on fire throughout this entire contest. I mean, his completion percentage, Mike, is well above league average, and frankly, it's really the biggest reason why they find themselves out in front. We'll try again. It's second and ten. And nothing doing on that one. He'll go down behind the line. You know at this point, the defense has to sell out and stop the run. You know exactly what the offense is trying to get accomplished by keeping the ball on the ground. But now the question remains, are they willing to take some risk here and put the ball in the air on third down? Or do they play it safe and keep running the clock by keeping the ball on the ground? Throw it on third down, Stafford. Throwing it right into the hands of his running back. When you throw the ball short of the sticks on third down, you're relying heavily on the yards after the catch. So give credit to the defense here. Once the ball carrier had the ball, multiple guys around him, corralled him, take him down short of the sticks. Punt team headed out for the Rams. As they try to play the field position game here, protecting a fourth quarter lead. This one angles out of bounds, and the mark comes inside the 15-yard line. The Pates offense back onto the field for their next possession. This will start from the 12, trying to put a drive together here. It's first and 10.
From out of the gun, here's May. He'll find Stevenson out of the backfield. And this one's going to be a loss of yardage. He's marked out of bounds behind the line of scrimmage. What they teach these backs is when you catch a check down, immediately try to get vertical. Try to put a hole in the defense coming to rally tackle. So give credit to the defense here. They strung this out and made him go sideways, and they forced him to go so far sideways, he went out of bounds. That's to the right side. He's got Polk. It may not have moved the chains, but with what they were dealing with there on second down, that's a really nice pickup because now it opens up your play call sheet on third down where it's a little bit more manageable. Here's third down and a few inches. To throw now, May. And that is incomplete. I think he predetermined that third down throw, and even though the coverage was tight, he still tried to fit the ball in there anyway, and it ended up falling incomplete. I think if he goes through his progressions and has a little bit more trust in his protection, I think there's an easier throw to make out there. A fair catch here. Called for and made beyond the 30-yard line. The Rams offense and Matthew Stafford heading back onto the field. And he has been masterful so far leading this offense, keeping the mistakes to a minimum on point with his passes, generally one step ahead of the defense all game long. A fresh set of downs to work with. It is first down and 10. Off the bootleg, it's Stafford. Right side, complete to Nakua. Really well done here by the defense, Mike, executing this zone defense, and they've got to be able to pattern read. You're not just going to drop back to a spot and just play like a robot. Based on what the receivers do off the line, the defenders have different rules of where their zones move to. Well, they had that one dialed in right from the jump, and they were able to stop that play really before it got started. And he will not get away. Terrific open field tackle. Gets him down behind the line. It almost seemed like the defender was getting the play call sent into his helmet, just like the quarterback, because he knew the play before they even snapped the ball, and that play had no shot. This a must stop for this defense. Facing third and long. We'll try and set up the tight end screen. And a good job here defensively. They did not let him get away. He's well short of the first down marker. The Rams punting unit coming out. On the return is Jones. And he's going to be brought down after a short return. And that's where his team will get possession of the football. Throwing on first and ten is May. They'll work now on second and four. Here's May. Who else? Another catch for his favorite target. Things certainly look a little improbable right now, Mike, but I wouldn't say impossible. I think they've got to capitalize on this possession to pick up some points. Good start there. Early completion, but now they've got to get across midfield and go. Every single possession right now is priceless. Points, possessions, and then they've got to get some defensive stops. A very nice open field tackle there. He could not get free and gains nothing. Receiver just finds himself in a really nice groove, and 
There's these weird times in the game, Mike, where it just seems like every ball comes your way, every play they call, you're wide open, and you just find yourself in one of those grooves that athletes talk about. So they got to continue to ride the hot hand because right now on that field, there's no mistake in who it is. He decides to go with this safe throw and throws it well short of the sticks. And at this level, Mike, you just can't miss layups like that. Here's a third and ten. May to throw again. And this ball incomplete on third down. Pretty clear approach here, Mike. You're just trying to take advantage of the size of your tight end versus a smaller defender. And you're just saying box him out and go up for an offensive rebound and get the ball at its highest point. In this case, it falls incomplete. But if they continue to get that matchup, this quarterback's not going to shy away from giving his big tight end a shot. And that's going to be incomplete. They had to take that chance. Trailing here in the fourth. But they will turn it over on down. The Rams offense ready to get back at it. We'll have a short field in front of them as they try to extend this lead out further. Here's first and ten. Out of the shotgun, they give it to Williams. Not much there. We'll get this down inside the 40. Look him up on a second down and eight. From the shotgun, it's Stafford. And he's not going to be able to get away very good coverage on the perimeter. It goes down as a loss of yards. Man, what a big time play here by the corner. It feels like he knew that play was coming before the ball was even snapped. You can see he sticks his foot in the ground and bursts. He ends that play before it even has a chance to get started. From the gun on third down, Stafford. This one taken in by Parkinson. He's going to be brought down very close to that line to gain. They're going to mark him just a bit short. And now it's fourth down. Outbreaking routes, Mike, especially outside of the numbers. Everything is about the timing. If you're late with the throw, you're going to be watching that defensive back take that thing the other way for six. They'll go for it. It's Williams. And he's going to have a Rams first down as they find a way to keep the chains moving on fourth down. It's another run here for Williams. Not much happening there, just a short game. And we'll see a timeout used by the defense, stopping it right out of the break. A minute 57 to go in the game. Here's a second and nine. They'll go again with Williams. And he'll pick his way forward, a gain of about five. And that's going to set up third down. On the ground, this is William. And it looks like he's going to have that first down. He will, not by a whole lot, but he's got it enough. And they convert on third down.
pick now as they'll take a knee. Third down and nine. Victory formation here as he's down to a knee. So it's a win for the visiting Rams. They were forced to travel cross country. They get the early start, 10 a.m. on their body clocks. They're happy now. They come away with the victory. So that'll just about do it for Greg Olson and our entire team. I'm Mike Tirico. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports. For more, log on to easports.com. So long, everybody.